Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Schwalick here bringing you a, another matchup in the Lower League E-Cup. I am, of course, one of the representatives for Delaware Rising, along with my brother Nathan Schwalick, and he is actually the player on the Sticks Bros in this matchup. Today, it is going to be Delaware Rising versus AFC Columbia. They're a team actually based in Missouri. So it's going to be a good battle here, and Liverpool is going to be the team that my brother selects, so they will be representing Delaware Rising and AFC Columbia as Chelsea. So a nice Premier League battle going on here, and we shall see how it breaks down as a kickoff has already begun, and Liverpool starts with it, maintaining some nice possession to start us off. Some nice work, Nathan. Now... Chelsea, of course, with Timo Werner, the speedster up top, trying to make some moves, already cutting into the box. Wow, great maneuvering. And <laughs> within the fourth minute, woo, Chelsea scores. It's uh, unfortunate for Chelsea fans that Chelsea does not play like this in real life. But yeah, that pace of Timo Werner getting through past the back line, Allison looking frustrated and just cutting through, and then the final pass to score. All right, no mountains can be unclimbed. I don't really know what that phrase even means, but we're back at it. And Nathan still has time to play. It looks like he's already paused the game to see if he's gonna adjust some tactics from maybe something that he's already learned from the style of play from his opponent. We'll actually be able to see the breakdown that he shifts here. So it looks like he shifts something in his defensive structure as a team. And of course, with Werner up top to start, you're gonna have to play a very particular type of defense with the pace that he has. And Salah now moving down the wing, has some space, crosses the ball in the box, but unfortunately gathered by Keppa, which Keppa is not even playing with Chelsea anymore. And Virgil van Dijk, nicely passes back to the keeper. So a good good start after the positional change that Nathan makes for Delaware Rising and his Liverpool squad. And trying to get through with Mane's pace in the back line. And now starting to get much more on the attack, which is a good sign. That's what we like to see. And we have two Midwestern state teams here with Missouri versus Ohio. Ohio kind of on the eastern side of the Midwest and Missouri, depends how you look at it, but kind of bunkering down right in the middle. So definitely a good match here in terms of two actual clubs trying to duke it out. And now out on the wing, it's Henderson who wins a corner for Liverpool, first corner of the match and decides to go short with Salah. Salah putting on some fancy footwork, flicks it in the box, but a good step from that defender, but I think it's Fabinho who actually takes the ball back in the box, intercepts a pass, and knocks it home. That is what we like to see. Tied up here now, 1-1. One, one. And a nice way to get back in the game for Nathan Schwalick and Delaware FC. Phenomenal play to come back after going down 1-0. It's still very early in the match, but it's what you love to see. Now Liverpool, oh, flicks it over to Salah. Looks like he's still on side with a touch. Oh, what a through ball. An almost a spectacular finish, but actually Salah was deemed offside. Wow, what, could, what a wicked passage of play. Almost perfect. I'd like to see VAR on that one. I don't know. That was pretty tight. That line would have been like that shoulder where you can't even really tell what body part's on or outside. Now, a little bit of possession changing back and forth in the midfield. Solid getting physical. Some nice interception going on from Liverpool. A little fancy footwork from Salah, dishing it off on the side. And the game's starting to open up a little bit now. 
and almost a great opportunity for a through ball, but just a little too far outside, and that goes out for a Liverpool throw. But more change is being made here by both players, it seems. And it looks like Nathan is just changing some of the player instructions for his midfielders. It looks like for his defensive midfielders. And it looks like no actual substitution changes were made by either team, so it must be tactical. And it seems like a nice tactical matchup here where both players and Salah getting through. Oh, and just wide. But both players adjusting tactics and really going hard to try to make sure that they can get this win. You love to see it. You love to see the dedication from both sides. There's Hudson and Doy. Ziek. Looks like Chelsea does have all their young guns starting. Interesting to see Werner. He's dropping back. And a nice through ball, but then cleared by Allison. And a good win from Sané to maintain possession. And now, flick through for Salah. A little too long. But the keeper goes out of his box with an immaculate first touch to settle that ball. Quite unnecessarily, it would have been a goal kick. But Kepa definitely showing off that first touch skill right there. Wish I had that. Beautiful. Woo. Now Werner here does get fouled, but advantage being played. And advantage only so until the offside flag was raised. And now Liverpool trying to get on a break of their own here down the left side. They're holding it up with Jota now. Trying to hold possession. And Mane now in the box, cutting in, flicks it in. Oh, almost finds Salah. But Kepa just gets his hands to it right before the Egyptian king can get his foot on it. Now off a big punt, ball goes to Allison. Allison holds on to it, trying to make it to halftime here with just five minutes to go. And a very impressive defensive showing by Liverpool after conceding that first goal. A lot of good interceptions now. So almost getting through the back line. And now an opportunity, 3v2. Chelsea does pass it back, hold it up a little bit. And oh, a phenomenal interception, maybe by Wijnaldum there. Last second in front of goal. And that's what was required to break up that fast break. And now we'll see how much added time is tossed on. Just one minute of added time until we break for the half. And there could be one final opportunity here for Liverpool to attack if the ref will allow it. And it looks like he is. And it's chipped in. Salah heads it in. Oh my goodness. A beautiful little chipped soft cross finds the head of Salah with no time remaining until the half and Kepa cannot get his hand to it. Liverpool and Delaware rising with Nathan on the sticks takes a lead and that is huge. If you're watching this game, you could see that momentum was certainly shifting from Chelsea who scored the first goal, instantly took momentum. But as the game progressed, Liverpool getting another goal of their own and intercepting, playing some strong defense. Slowly, you felt the momentum going Liverpool and Delaware FC's way. But that goal will seal the momentum shift now going into the second half. That is beautiful to see from Delaware FC's point of view, but uh, not the best for AFC Columbia. And now we're off here with our second half of lower league E-Cup action with Delaware Rising FC leading two to one against AFC Columbia. And a chipped ball here. Ooh, settled down. Very risky touch there, but Allison eventually collects. 
as Chelsea tries to go over the top and Allison just boots it out of bounds on the right side of the field. Let's see if Chelsea can hold more possession. As they've been trying to go quickly on the break, but now trying to find some passing lanes here, but still great defense from Liverpool. As they intercept again and now try to go on a break of their own with Mane out on the wing. Chelsea intercepts now with possession of their own as Werner trying to break through that back line. And a sliding tackle requires Werner to jump over. And Allison, no, a defender is able to collect and clear. Whew, that was close. And Pulisic flicks a ball inside, trying to find Werner, but headed away by Liverpool's defense. Now back to the top of the box for Chelsea. Havertz trying to do something fancy, but nothing doing. As Liverpool takes that. And a chipped ball by Salah, finding Mane on the wing. Does cross it into the box. Header looks like that was from Henderson, who's laying on top of the defender now. Goes wide. Good to see more chances being had here, actually for both teams, getting much more possession through the middle of the field and finding their way into the box, into that final third of the opposition. Conte bringing the ball up in the middle and Ziek is playing as a defensive or center midfielder. And the chipped ball trying to find Salah, but just a bit too far and Kepa collects and trying to release Werner, which he does. Werner does find the ball from Kepa after that quick punt and Werner looks like one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Oh, but a sliding tackle from Trent Alexander-Arnold just in time breaks up that pass and the keeper can grab. Now Firmino out of the wing, good tackle from Tamori it looks like. Here we go, Mane, trying to rainbow flick over his defender, but does not come off for him. Werner holds up, beautiful through ball to Hudson Madoy out on the wing here. Takes the shot and scores. Finds the side netting. Beautiful through ball by Werner. And Hudson Madoy runs on, gets enough space and scores. Now, here we go, two, two. What a big match. And Nathan of Delaware SC did win his first game. So looking to try to win his second in this group stage. Let's set our club up very nicely. And now Liverpool on the break. And it's Mane. A beautiful pass from Salah to get through the defense. And Mane puts it past the keeper through the five hole through the legs of Kepa and reestablishes the lead for Liverpool and Delaware rising. That is something you love to see for our club. And now how will Chelsea respond? Starting things off, passing, trying to hold the ball, maintain more possession, and they do get fouled. And now maybe trying to switch up those tactics to keep more possession and then unlock that Liverpool defense. Now Werner drops back to collect. And really trying to look more now and see if they can find that pass through the defense, which they are not able to do a good interception. But it does look like Nathan is playing a much more defensive style now with Liverpool holding back more players but still finding space on the attack here with Mane on the wing. Good interception by the Chelsea defender to save a cross or a shot. And another great through ball by Chelsea to find Hudson Madoy on the wing, but intercepted looks like by Robertson as he was trying Hudson Madoy to cross that ball into the box. Now Werner at the top of the key. Passes through Hudson Madoy. Good step by that defense, but it gets right back to him. And it's just kickball at the top and eventually cleared away by Fabinho. All right, and 
Chelsea slowly building an attack again. And another lovely step, but the ball still flicking around and eventually finds to Chelsea. And it's a goal for Chelsea. What a match we have going on here. And that one is scored by Kai Havertz. And really, these Chelsea players fine in their form in FIFA, but just not so much in real life. But now that brings our match here to 3-3. Three, three. What a game this is and a final ending is going to be very exciting. 3-3, three, three, tied up with four minutes to go. And just a reminder, we are in the group stage, so it will not be going to extra time or a penalty shootout. It will just be a draw and the points will be split. But that may not be the case here with Diego Jota on the wing, crossed the ball in, trying to find Salah, but unable to do so, just finds the head of a defender, but Liverpool regains. Henderson has a shot! And it is saved. Whoa, what a save by Kepa. He needed it. Salah, rainbow flicks over. Oh, and Salah almost scores as well, but Kepa being worked and putting in some work to keep Chelsea tied at 3-3 and Salah trying to do some fancy footwork, but accidentally goes out of bounds for a goal kick here. And now Chelsea hits it up with just one added minute. And that, folks, is the game. A final score of three to three. What a exciting game. I wish more actual Premier League games were like this because that was fantastic to see. Kai Havertz ends up taking two shots on goal, has two goals. So that is a strong showing from him. But overall, you love to see the battle with the goals here. And that ultimately will leave each team, AFC Columbia and Delaware Rising, with a point each, as we will see how they both break down going forward into the group stage. But leaving Delaware Rising in a great spot, Nathan playing a fantastic game, especially after going down 1-0. So now with four points in the group, looks like... He will have a strong foundation to try to get Della Rising out of this group. Now, my big key takeaway from this match was that both teams, overall, solid, a lot of pace up front, but really you could see the differences in playing style with Nathan holding more possession and then eventually building up that play to get either crosses in, passes, or through balls, as opposed to Chelsea and AFC Columbia, they played much more quickly trying to get balls over the top to their speedy players, especially Timo Werner. However, dropping Timo Werner at times as well. So that is what I would recommend to Nathan to say, hey, if I knew what I knew after watching this game, I would tell Nathan that they're going to be playing a lot of balls over the top, but ultimately it's not going to work out for them. They're going to realize that and then try to hold more possession and then actually mimic a similar style to how you play in the buildup and to be able to defend that way. But overall, awesome game, fantastic match by both players and both teams. We love to see it. And we will be coming here on YouTube with more Delaware Rising FC matches in the Lower League E-Cup. We have our Xbox player, Nathan, as well as our PlayStation player, Sony, and a PC player as well. So we have three different groups where we'll be seeing some other Delaware FC FIFA action coming to you very soon. And if you want to catch these games live, head over to our Twitch, and we'll also be updating you on the different game schedules on our Twitter, so make sure to follow along. I will see you all in the next match and fingers crossed that it will be an exciting one just like this but we'll see you in the next one